Child support calculations are more complicated than you think. If you are getting divorced in the state of Texas and you're trying to reach an agreement with your spouse or the parent of your child as to what child support should be, whether you're the one who's going to pay the child support or the person who's going to receive the child support, you really need to talk to an attorney to get all the ins and outs of how much a judge would find is reasonable child support for your particular situation. My name is Laura Hurd and I have been practicing family law in San Antonio, Texas since 1987. And in Texas, you may have heard that child support is 20% of your net income if you have one child or 25% of your net income if you have two children, but it's really not that simple. That is not an accurate statement because there are so many other factors to consider. We don't even use 20% if that person has another child outside this relationship that they're obligated to support. That changes the percentage. If they're a low income person, that changes the percentage. If they have a very high income, then net income is capped. And above that cap, there's no more child support percentage. And so if they make a very high income, we have to look at what is the current cap because it changes every year. And then if you want more than that cap for the child support, you have to prove the needs of the child. You have to prove that the child needs more child support than what that um, percentage would calculate to be based on what the child is accustomed to, the child's standard of living and the child's special needs. Beyond that, we have to look at what is really income. Your income could be investment income as well as your salary or rental income. And then we look at what is net income. It's not the same thing as take-home pay. And there's deductions like health insurance for the children, but it's not straight what you pay for a health insurance premium through your employer. It's only the portion that's attributable to the children. So there are lots of things that can be deducted, such as the state income tax if your employer works in another state or union dues. We take all that into consideration when we're deciding how much child support should be. If you have questions about this, we need to look at your um, income tax return, 1099s, W-2s and your pay stubs to figure out what the judge would say your child support should be.